Hello everyone and welcome back to Off The Beaten Pot. Today is a post day. Today I got this. Believe it or not, in here is a sleeping bag. Um, it came in a box about the same size as me. I'm six foot tall, I'm not even joking. It has in it the Helium 600 sleeping bag by Mountain Equipment. So before I get into this, I'm gonna go and grab a coffee. First things first, straight out the box, straight out that massive bag. I'm not going to pay much attention to this. The bag itself is pretty nice. You can throw this in there, throw that in your wardrobe, and you're good for when you need it the next time. So at first I was a little alarmed because I thought that was the, um, the pouch it came in, but I looked inside and it comes with this. It's a really nice way of packing down your sleeping bag. It is a um, waterproof dry sack, roll top, and it's got this little hole in there to, to get the air out. Really nice way of um, packing your sleeping bag down, I think, and it's something we'll look at later. Close look. Put the explosives on and take care of the ship. Leave the captain to me. Just, just don't call this number again, okay? All right, love you, mum. Bye. First thing to note is the colour. I mean, sometimes when you look online and you see the colour of something and it arrives and you go, ah, this is spot on. This is a beautiful colour, a sort of satin navy blue, orange interior, orange trim. The great thing about orange as well is if you're ever out in an emergency, you need to stay warm but also be spotted. You can whip the bag inside out, crawl up in that, and you're just a little more visible than if you're in a navy blue sack. The Helium 600 sleeping bag comes with a comfort rating of minus one degree Celsius or 30 degrees Fahrenheit, a comfort limit of minus eight degrees Celsius or 18 degrees Fahrenheit, an extreme limit of minus 26 degrees Celsius or minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Its total weight is 1,070 grams, its fill weight is 582 grams, and its pack size is 26 centimeters by 23 centimeters by 20 centimeters. This is the regular length, which is 190 centimeters long by 75 centimeters wide and a foot width of 50 centimeters wide. This is an amazing sleeping bag, really. It's stuffed full of features, it packs small, but it punches big. There are just tiny little ideas that I think may, will make a massive difference. Just one example is the adjustment for the hood here. Two different types, which just makes so much sense. So at night, instead of fumbling, you've got the cylindrical one to adjust the roof of the hood, and the flat cord adjusts the chest. So that's one little thing that just blew my mind. Another is this little magnet here. Absolutely beautiful, clever little thing which just means you can very easily put the magnets near each other. When you want to undo it, you just pull that tab. I think that's just a lovely way of um, joining the collar. So now what we've got to do is go and meet up with Trev and take it out on the trail. Cheers and gone for now. Made it, made it out, left after work, arrived, it was incredibly dark. Um, I don't know what the area around me looks like, so I'm looking forward to seeing that in the morning. Now, is it wrong that I'm excited that it's getting down to three degrees Celsius tonight? Purely because I'm testing out this sleeping bag and I've never 
not recently been warm in a sleeping bag so this is yeah exciting if i can get through three degrees stay toasty warm and comfortable i'll be happy the wind stopped so suddenly then that it woke me up and when i woke up i was sweating in this um, took my arm out to try and cool down a bit and it is really cold in this tent um, check the thermometer four degrees and inside i am roasty toasty so good morning i woke up this morning and there was ice in and on my tent so it had got much colder in the night than i had anticipated that said i was warm that sleeping bag kept me really warm there was a point where I felt that my chest was a bit cold, but I just pulled the drawstrings to close the hood around me and I was toasty warm again. Yep, I'm really quite impressed with that sleeping bag. I bought for pack size, and I generally always buy for pack size. This one is, it packs down to not much for the amount of thermal insulation it has. That sleeping bag is just incredible. For what it can perform to, its price point is great. The amount of features in it, I mean, how many do you need really? But the amount of features is amazing. And it kept me warm. Like I would not have guessed that I was sleeping in an ice covered tent last night. So would I recommend this sleeping bag? Yes, I absolutely would. It performed really well. I was really comfortable, so warm. So if you are thinking of getting a sleeping bag to keep you warm, that doesn't weigh so much and is incredibly well priced for what it can offer you, I would absolutely get this sleeping bag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been useful to you. Uh, please uh, leave a comment below um, if you have any questions about the sleeping bag or if you have any suggestions on similar bags if you've got experience with this bag good or bad I'd love to hear it and if you found any value in this video whatsoever please consider hitting that like button tickling the subscribe button and dinging the bell doing the YouTube things so I can see you in another episode of off the beaten pot cheers and gone Fools, 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 fools